Hey, what's up? Rob here for Man vs. Pin. Walking around here in the autumnalness of autumn. Does that even f***ing make sense? What the f*** am I even saying? Autumnal? Is that a word? I think so. You know, I know a lot of people whose favorite season is autumn. Mine, not so much. First off, you wake up in the morning, you gotta put on a f***ing sweater, and then, by mid-afternoon, you're taking it off. Christmas is right around the f***ing corner, it's being shoved down everybody's throat. Chapped lips, raking. God damn, the f***ing leaves and the raking. And then there's a lot of people I know that think that jumping into a giant pile of leaves is fun, so I found one. Okay, hope there's not a fire hydrant or something under here. I'll just fall back. Oh, this sucks. Pinometer, what do you think? I think you are deeply disturbed and lack any ability to feel real happiness. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Leaves in my shirt. <laughs> Every day it gets darker, colder. Everything's fucking dying. Everything around us. Everything's dying. Which brings me to this week's project, the Maple Leaf Rose. Suggested by a ton of you, uh, because obviously, you know, we like doing roses around here. And I'm getting pretty fucking good at them, too. These look nice right here. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Now we're getting scary. Now we're getting scary. Really? With this fucking dog? Yeah, all right. Is there even a fucking fence here? I don't even think there's a goddamn fence here. I'm recording this just in case this fucking dog attacks me. Jesus Christ. Boom. Pretty sweet. Oh, Bernie Sanders. We're all feeling the burn now. All right, got all my different colored leaves here. I'm gonna start with uh, my yellowish orange ones first. Uh, now everything that I take reference from just says that you take the first leaf, you fold it over, and you roll it up. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole fucking thing. No special math, no high school or GED needed. This is the this is the simplest of the simplest DIY projects you could probably do. Fold, wrap, and roll. Fold, wrap, and roll. That's that's pretty much that's pretty much about it. Now for the last few leaves here, uh, I didn't fold anything and I just kind of took the leaf and wrapped it around the maple leaf rosebud. Then with some wire, I just cinched it off at the bottom, wrapped it up, uh, adjusted some of my petals and leaves, and there you go! You got some uh, maple leaf roses. Now here's the deal, for the entire length of the project, you have to keep this hand with the rose in it constantly gripped so that it doesn't spiral out of control or become unwrapped, which means you have to be super getting coordinated uh, with your other hand, cutting shit and getting wire out and carefully wrapping it around the flowers tightly. It's a f***ing mission. Take some fan dangling and some jig jaggling. But the end result, after all of that, uh, you know, I guess, I guess it looks like a rose. I mean, really, with this technique, you could do this to f***ing anything. Bills, junk mail, f***ing dirty laundry, whatever you want. You just f***ing wrap and repeat. Here, I, uh, I grabbed some, uh, some old socks. There you go. In sock rose. Now that I got uh, a few more roses here, I added some uh, autumn foresty accoutrement. This twig over here with some f***ing berries on it and a couple other little twigs and leaves and things. And when it's all put together, this looks like a pretty f***ing awesome autumnal bouquet. I don't know what the f*** I'm gonna do with it, but here it is. Hmm. All right, here in the uh, local cemetery. Gotta find the grave that I gotta put these on. It's somewhere around here. F***ing dead people, am I right? Holy cow, there are a lot of them. Oh man, what the fuck? Damn. For the record, uh, when I die, I need a tombstone that's this f***ing big. No, no. God damn it, it is around here somewhere. Ow, Jesus Christ, tripping over f***ing dead people. God damn it. Oh wait, can I say God damn it in a cemetery? I don't know. Shit. All right, all right, all right. Sandman, sweet fucking last name. Good job. I always actually like to visit Shane when I come here. R.I.P. Buddy. Thomas Wolfe, huh? A beloved American author. The last voyage, the longest, the best. Damn dog. Hard hitting shit. Oh, there it is. There it is. <sighs> Finally, here we are. The gravestone I've been looking for. Tom Riddle himself, Lord Voldemort. He shall rise again. He shall rise again. All right, we did it. We did it. That feels good. 
that feels good. All right, well, that's all I got for you this week on Man vs. Pin. Be sure that you leave your future project suggestions down in the comments below. Uh, like up this video uh, if you're not extremely offended already that I'm shooting it in a cemetery. But, you know, these people are dead, you know? I don't think they care. And then be sure that you go down into the description. There is a, a bunch of cool shit down there. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you around here next time.